Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Keisha to Do It All Diva. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So you already clicked the video. You know what we're about to do. We're about to use the big money machine. So if you want to see me speak budget, then stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get started with the ones. It's $11. Gotta change the denomination. Let's get to the fives. 96 bucks. How are you guys doing today? It is the middle of the month already, guys. That is crazy. Crazy. We're at $316. Here, it hasn't really been fall like weather that I really enjoy. It's still a little warm out. So at $736, let's fix this money. But I still love the fall, it's my favorite season. $836 and nine hundred and thirty six dollars so today we'll be stuffing nine hundred and thirty six dollars so let's get right to it okay so we're gonna start with my variable expenses first i'm gonna be very honest guys this is like week three somehow last week i just got super busy and i wasn't able to stuff go to the bank or do anything so instead of me trying to catch up i said girl Y'all gonna have to just meet me where I am, okay? So this week I'm only stuffing $20. Because my mama, my mom, what a blessing. She was over my house this weekend and she just said, here, take my card. And she took care of all the groceries. Ain't that so nice of her? That's super amazing, right? For dining out, I had $40 in here from last week, but I didn't record. So I'm just gonna keep that $40 in here, so I'm not gonna put anything else in here. Guess we're gonna do 60. Beauty, so you can see I finally got my nails done, girl. So my nails are done. So for beauty this week, I'm only gonna get 20. And beauty for me is really general, like it's for toiletries and all of that stuff. So it's really personal care, hygiene, beauty, whatever. Household this week is gonna get $25. Miscellaneous is always going to get $5. Coffee is going to get $10 this week. Fun, I don't have anything planned for fun. So the kids fall break is next week. So anything I plan for fun is gonna come out of the sinking funds that I have for the fall break. So I am not gonna do anything. Kiddos, they do. I do have to buy lunch for them this week. So I am going to stop at fifty dollars. Not stopping anything for Sashi, who's always in the videos. Here's my saving challenges. So even though I didn't like stuff on camera last week, I still have money for my saving challenge. If you didn't see the video of my weekly check-in, go ahead and check that out. I will link it down below. So I have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So I threw an extra couple of dollars in here. So I have $35 that rolled over from my cash envelopes from the previous two weeks. So I'm gonna use this towards savings challenges. I'm gonna put it to the side because I don't wanna get it all mixed up here, girl. And I think I have extra money when I really don't. So I'm gonna put this to the side. So now we're on to our main event finder. So Mason's envelope is getting stuffed with $125. So his birthday is getting closer. And um, I've actually started spending, <clears throat> excuse me, some money from 
his sinking fund, so I need to pay myself back a couple dollars. So let me add this first, and then I'm going to take out some money I've already spent. First, I had to put a deposit on his birthday place, which was $100. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. And then I've purchased a few little odds and ends, and that's about $15. I'm just gonna go ahead and take 20 out for that. And I'm gonna keep the receipt in here because I just wanna keep track of, you know, how much I'm spending for his birthday. And this is a good way for me to set up his sinking funds budget for next year. So I like to keep all the receipts and kind of keep track of what I've been spending for his birthday. So let's move on to the next one. Not stuffing anything in here for me. Gonna just put this to the side. The twins, you know, they always get $10. So let's see what they have in here now. $10, 20, 30, 40. Mike's birthday. Had another 10. 10, 20, 30, 40 for him as well. Next up, we have Halloween. We're going to add another $15. So now we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, which is cool. Thanksgiving, we're gonna add an extra $10. So we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. Next up, we have wedding. Um, if you've seen, if you haven't seen my video where I budgeted out for upcoming wedding I'm attending, um, you would see that your girl has some stuffing to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put forty dollars in here for the stuffing. And I did a little change in this binder before I had my savings challenges and everything in here. I have another binder that I just went ahead and set up. So this is just going to be for my main events and I will use my other binder for my savings challenges. So on to the next. Next we're in like my high priority sinking fund. So Amazon Prime is actually due this week. So I'm not even going to stuff the rest. I'm just going to go ahead and take it out. Okay, next business is not getting anything this week. I kind of move some of these to the back if I'm not using it. Costco is always going to get $10. You guys know I keep the certificate that they give me. So I just use the um, certificate towards my membership. So that's 43, 53, 63, 73, um, 83. So we have $83. My goal for this one is $120. So $10 a week will get me where I'm going. HOA today is going to get $25. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95. Nothing in home maintenance. Emergency funds. Kids savings is going to get $30. 10, see where they are. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 10, 20, 25, 30. Sam's Club. I do not have a Sam's Club, a Sam's Club card. I'm just stuffing until I get one. It's about $25, $30 on Groupon. 5, 10, 15, 20. Gotta update these trackers too. Well, purchases and shopping. If I have anything extra at the end, I will come back and fill those out. On to the next. 
Okay, next, I'm excited to be stuffing this one. It says Apple TV, but it's not Apple TV. It's for a new Apple iPad. So I'm excited to be stuffing for this. So I had an older laptop MacBook that I wasn't using and an iPad. So I traded those in or I sent it back. And with Apple, they give you like a credit. So I'm hoping to get about over $400 for the items that I turned in. So I just have to figure out how much I need to stuff to make up the difference for a new iPad. My birthday is next month, so I would love to get a new iPad for my birthday, so I'm gonna be working towards that. Okay, back to school. I need to start next month, so I'm not gonna do that now. Date night. We should be having one soon. Gonna add $10, so now we're at $35 for that. Okay, my daughter here. We'll be getting her hair done sometime next week. So we're gonna add $30 to that. Let me see where we are now. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. I still might be a few dollars short, so I'll see how that goes. Okay, nothing else here. I'm not stuffing anything else in gifts. I think kids' activities, I am gonna put a few dollars in. I need to buy some spirit gear for their school. I'm gonna add 15 bucks. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. That's 55 bucks in there. And I think that is it for this binder. On to the next. So now we're on to our savings challenges. And like I mentioned earlier, I just went ahead and put all my savings challenges in one binder. It makes it just easier for me to move around. So the first thing that we do here is we like to pay ourselves. So for the Roth IRA, I'm gonna go ahead and add $50 to that. Let's see where we are. It's kind of fishy. 50, 51, 52, 20, 40, 50. So we're at 250. Next, on to the 52 week challenge. So we are going to do 18 and 12, which is $30. 52 week challenge, I do not count. We just all, we all gonna be surprised at the end of the night, okay? Let's just, just hope we get through it. <laughs> on to the next. On to the Christmas. I do not know why this challenge always screws me up when it comes to me counting this money. But today I have a red marker and a green marker because I feel like I was not festive in this. So today we're doing $40. So that's a reindeer. A tree. Not this week, but next week. I'm gonna count up all of these and check my Christmas envelope to see if I have what I'm supposed to have in here, girl, because I know I do not. I already know I do not. So we're doing 40. Let me just stay focused and get $40 out of here and add it to it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 35. So we're gonna count this all up next time and I'm just gonna add whatever difference I'm supposed to have in here, girl. <laughs> On to the next. Okay, this is our $5 challenge. So we are up to week eight on here. So we are $40. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, 
Okay, easy, done. On to the next. Okay, next we are on the 100 envelope challenge. And today we are doing envelope number 30 and envelope number eight. Girl, you know this is my favorite because I just love the envelopes. Let's go ahead and get these out. 40. I think I'm just going to start putting these in the back just so I don't have to waste time trying to figure out where they belong. On to the next. And next, we're doing the nickel challenge, which is also my birthday challenge. So I am going to be stuffing $80 from here. And then you guys always know I have a bunch of coins. I just keep until it's time to stuff and I use it for this challenge. So let's just see how much money I have this week. So I have an extra one, two, three, four. So I'll be stuffing $84 in this challenge today. And you guys know, I already showed you how I do it. So let's zoom in and see how much I can actually get checked off on this challenge. Let's start with $84 minus the largest number we have here is $17.70. Next number is 1765. And then $48 minus 1760. $31.05 minus 1755. <clears throat> 1350. Let's just go ahead and find $13.50 right here. Boom. There you have it. That's how I fill in this tracker. Now it's time to actually put the money away. Okay, on to the next. Next, we're going to our scratch and save, skip or double challenge from Beautiful Me and You right here on YouTube. And this week or last week, I scratched and I need to stuff $22. So let me go here to my September challenge. Let's see. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna use this challenge for. I do some. I do this challenge as a monthly challenge. So at towards the end of the month, wherever I need the additional funds, I will put the money towards that. 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So we're at 51 dollars for this September challenge, which isn't bad. Now let's just go in here and scratch off some new numbers for next week. I'm actually working off of two pages right now. So I'm just gonna get a penny for my change draw here. So let's see what we get. So whatever number I get next, I have to skip or double it. Oh, I got 19. 
So that means next week I have to stuff $38. So let me just scratch off one more. Oh, no, no, no. I'm doing two challenges. Let me see what the other, the other page is saying. So let's try this page. Hopefully we get some grace. I can do that. So on the other page, we had 19 times 2, 38 plus 5, 43. Okay, so we have $43 to stuff next time I do a stuffing for this particular challenge. Okay, so next is my vacation binder. So um, you guys know I've been stuffing to pay the cruise and I, I'm pulling this money out to pay the cruise this week. So I'm gonna do a separate video where I'm gonna be setting up the amounts for each of these categories so you guys can know. I don't want these videos to be too long. I'm gonna start stuffing the vacation binder on a separate video. But this right here is for um, my kids fall break, which is coming up. So um, right now we have one, two, 100, 220, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I'm going to just put 40 more dollars, three, four. So we're gonna have $300, we should, 100, 220, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. So I was shooting for a thousand and then I figured exactly what we were going to do and I don't need that much, which is good for me. So this $300 should be sufficient. So when I do my next check-in after their fall break, we'll see if this is actually enough or if I had to dip into some other locations for some money. So as you can see here, I still have a couple dollars left and so I have a few bucks and then remember this, this is the money from my sinking funds that I rolled over. So let's just go ahead and add this to it. See how much we have, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 6, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. Okay, girl, you have a lot. Okay, let's go back to some of those thinking funds that I wasn't able to stuff. Okay, so the first one I want to put some money in is bulk purchases. This is what I'll use when I'm buying stuff outside of my grocery, my, my normal grocery um, budget. So let's put 15. Okay. Let's see what we got. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19. Just gonna add one more. 20. $20 in here, that's good. Next shopping, this is important because I need to get my kiddos some fall gear. We have $20 in there. Let's go ahead and add $25. Let's see, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. I'm just gonna add one more. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So they have 50 bucks in here, which is cool. Okay. Okay, the other one that has got absolutely no love for me but is important is home decor. It's the fall, the fall is coming up, and I wanna get a few pieces um, for the house. So I need to start stuffing for that. Let's see what I have left, 10, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we'll just do 15 bucks in there for now for home decor. I don't need that many items, just a few pieces. So I'm good with that. And I'm just gonna come back to my son's birthday. I mean, his birthday is the next thing that's coming up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest of this to that. So now that leaves him at 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 5, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, that worked out. So he has 215, and I already took out um, a couple bucks earlier in the cash stuffing. So that is it, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Thank you so much for sticking with me through the end. Again, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead, subscribe, like, share, comment, talk to your girl. Let me know what you like, if you're feeling what I'm doing over here. Um, if you have any advice, any recommendations, I'm here for it all, guys. It's a community, and I'm just excited to be part of it. So, again, thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that like button, and I will see you next time. Later.